Troy, it's amazing when you look at the water right now and see how calm it is that where we're standing by this time tomorrow morning should be under several feet of water. At Hampton Public Works, the trucks are waiting to be filled, but for this storm, the plows won't be necessary. The storm expected to be all rain. While certain areas of Hampton Beach are used to dealing with flooding, this storm is hitting while there is an astronomical high tide. Then there are the plummeting temperatures at the end of the storm. Those areas that do inundate, even if it's by a little bit, are likely to see a flash freeze over meaning we're going to be out treating um, icy areas on Saturday morning, Christmas Eve morning, and maybe even again as it melts through the day. Lynch says they have plenty of salt to treat the roads. With the storm hitting on the holiday when people are on vacation, Lynch says that would be a concern if this was a snowstorm. But the fact that it's all rain helps. But we're really looking at pretty much just sanders going out in, in, in those areas that inundate, not town-wide. Unitil is the utility company serving the seacoast. Thursday morning, they issued a high wind advisory. What we're expecting to see tomorrow is wind gusts uh, at or above 55 miles an hour in all of our service territories. So the company will open up its emergency operations center to coordinate resources. While the seacoast didn't see the heavy wet snow from last week's storm, they have been out checking lines for any potential problems. And then there are additional crews. Right now we do have a combination of our own crews and third party crews on this for this particular event. So uh, we feel we're prepared to respond. Unitil says if there are power outages, well, it could take a little longer than normal to restore the power. And that's because they can't put the bucket trucks up if the wind gusts are greater than 35 miles per hour. Reporting live at Hampton Beach, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.